to make homemade laundry soap, whether it be in uh, liquid or powdered form, most of them um, use these three simple ingredients of the Arm & Hammer washing soda, the Fells Naphtha bar soap, and borax. Um, today I'm going to make, show you how to make liquid laundry soap. We took the recipe that we found online, used it, just kind of changed it up a little bit to find, to, to uh, meet what we like the best. So the most important thing you need is a bucket. You need a bucket that has a lid, and this is a three gallon bucket. Um, so I will make about two and a half gallons of, la of the laundry soap concentrate, and then you dilute that by half, so you get about, uh, about four gallons of laundry soap out of this one, uh, one time of making it. So the things that you'll need, you'll need a grater to grate your soap, or if you have a food processor, you can use that as well. Just be careful not to break your food processor like we do. A long-handled spoon, a whisk, a liquid measuring cup, and a dry measuring cup. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to grate our bar of soap. I like to use a grater that has a fine grate on it because we're going to um, cook this on the stove. We're going to boil it in some water and the fine grate just um, makes it uh, dissolve faster. There's no easy way to do this because the soap is actually kind of hard and that's why we did um, break our food processor. But this is the hardest part of the whole process, so you just kind of have to get in there and get it done and then after you get this grated, it's smooth sailing from there. If you have a helper in your household who can help you, that's great because you can take turns. My helper happens to be holding the camera right now, so she can't help. So I'm just going to finish grating this soap and then I'll show you what the next step is. Okay, so we got the, the uh, soap all grated. Um, in, in actuality, it only took me probably less than three minutes to grate that bar of soap. And you can see that it's a real fine consistency. And I did want to mention that this soap has a very little fragrance to it. It's not perfumey like your store-bought soaps. Um, it doesn't have any dyes in it. I use it on infant baby clothes, and then, um, it's very sensitive, sensitive to their skin, so um, I've never had any problem using it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do now to get the soap started is I'm going to put four cups of hot water in my boiling pan. in there. I'm going to go ahead and put my soap in. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat on. I'm going to grab my kitchen whisk and I'm going to start stirring it. And right now I'm going to recruit a helper to come stir this for me while I get started on the next part. And she's just going to stand and stir this for me for a while until it gets a little bit until it goes starts boiling. We'll continue to stir it while it boils for a couple of minutes and until it looks like the soap is completely dissolved. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the dry ingredients to my, my bucket, which is one cup of washing soda, and I'm going to break up these chunks a little bit because you do want to make sure they all get dissolved in here. And then I'm going to put one cup of borax. And what I found with the borax, I already kind of broke up the chunks, but it seems to get chunky as well. And so you do want to make sure and break those up, otherwise they, they may not dissolve real well in the water. Okay, now I'm just going to add about two and a half gallons of hot water to this. 
first time I did it, I measured it out. Now I just kind of eyeball it. I know where that where that uh, two and a half gallon mark is or about is. I like to use, like to use hot water for this so that it dissolves that powder real well. reach that spot and I've been stirring it all the while and I can tell that it feels pretty pretty well dissolved there on the bottom. So I'm going to go check on our soap on the stove here. Alright, let's just see. Why don't you stop stirring for a minute and see. I can still see the soap in there a little bit so I'm going to let it sit here just for a minute and uh, see if we can bring it up to a boil. And then once it gets boiling, we'll we'll stir it till it's dissolved. Okay, we've been stirring our soap pretty consistently here, and we got it up to a boil. And it looks sometimes it's hard to tell, but um, it looks to me like the soap is is pretty well melted. I don't see any little stragglers in it. So I'm going to turn this off, take this right over to my bucket. Here's kind of the interesting thing. As soon as you put this in, you can almost see, feel the water, see it and feel it start to thicken up. Kind of see that. And I'm just going to take my spoon and stir it. I can feel on the bottom that there's no none of the powder left there, so it's good. So the next step for this is I'm going to just leave this out on my counter here and let it cool, and then I'm going to put the uh, probably for a couple hours because it's pretty warm. I'm going to put the lid on it and let it sit overnight, and then we'll rejoin this in progress tomorrow. Okay, it's been 24 hours since we put the lid on our laundry soap, and so now we're going to open it up and it's going to have set up a lot. So we're going to have to stir it up real well and uh, you'll get an idea here when I stick my wooden spoon in it. You can see that it is a uh, gel, big time gel. Now there is water that has settled to the bottom so I'm just going to start off by just breaking this up a little bit. Okay, it's going to take a few minutes to get this all broken up. And now I'm going to take the whisk and just start doing the same thing and getting, getting this broke up as much as possible. And after the initial time of doing this, you won't have to break it up each time when you go to work with it. It's just after this first time. And you do want to get as much of the big chunks out of it as possible. Okay, so I've got that broken down pretty good. So this is basically our laundry soap concentrate. So now all I need to do is take my smaller bottle. This is a one gallon bottle that I use for my laundry soap. And I'm going to dilute it. Some of the recipes say to dilute it um, half and half. Half of your concentrate, half with water. I like to do two to one. So two of the concentrate and one of the water. So I'm going to put ten cups of the concentrate and five cups of water. And I need a funnel here. Got my measuring cup. You do need to be careful because if you have any really big chunks that you didn't get broken down, they're going to get stuck in your funnel. If you do get some chunks in there, don't worry about it because you're going to shake it up once you get the water in there and it will break down. Okay, I've added my 10 cups of laundry soap. Now I'm going to add five cups of water. This is my 
fifth cup right here. And my suds, so I'm probably not going to get it all, so I'll just going to stop right there. All right, put my cap on it, shake it up, and there we go. There is our completed bottle of laundry soap. So this is a gallon of laundry soap, and with our prices here, um, to make this with the ingredients, it cost me 50 cents to make this gallon of laundry soap. So you can see that's a significant savings. So I'm just going to put the lid back on my concentrate, put it back in the storage closet. When I'm ready to refill my bottle, I'll get it back out and repeat.